Hi, it's Adam here from Music Radar. Today I am looking at a new version of Eventide's multi effects powerhouse Fission. Fission is an interesting plugin capable of some unique sounds by splitting your audio into its transient and tonal parts. You can see here at the top you've got transient effects and at the bottom tonal effects. This means you can subtly tweak and refine your sounds or do magic like turning a plucked guitar into a pad. I'm going to have a quick look at some of the new features that have been added in Mark II, then show off some creative uses for Fission. So first off, it has a new look to match in with Eventide's other plugins. You've got some useful quality of life features like an A-B selection and uh, undo redo buttons, which is really nice. In terms of new effects, you've got a reverse delay added. And in the tonal pitch control, you can now switch between monophonic and polyphonic with a fine tune per voice. You've also got the option down here uh, to add a side chain into the plugin now for dynamics and reverse delay triggering. So those are the new bits that have been added in for version 2. Um, let's have a look at just what Fission can do there if you're not familiar with it at all. Uh, I'm going to start off with this track here. I've got a guitar kind of arpeggio thing. Uh, at the moment Fission is off uh, and it sounds like this. And what I've done is loaded in this preset here um, called Guitar Pad. Um, so in the preset browser here, you've got their signature sounds uh, and you've got various tools for different jobs, reshaping um, more subtle production things uh, and side chaining. So I've chosen one called Guitar Pad. So as a quick explanation, you can see the transient effects here. It's adding in a tap delay with these settings. Uh, and then the tonal effects, it's adding in a chorus. So processing those two sounds completely differently. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like by turning the plugin on. Really nice otherworldly sound. So uh, just to remind you, this is what it sounded like before. There's a bypass button down here I can use. A cool feature is that you can solo the different parts. So that's the transient part uh, with the tap delay added. And at the bottom, we've got the tonal part. And that's we had a chorus added to it with these uh, settings. Really nice sound. That's kind of a big change you can do with Fission is turning one sound into something very different. Let's check on this second track I've got here. Uh, I'm going to turn off this one and then I'm going to go to this guitar riff. So this sounds at the moment like this. This sounds at the moment like this. I've just got a kind of guitar amp plug in on it. And I've loaded up this preset called Stutter Reverse. So this has a tap delay on the transient and a reverse delay on the tonal. Let's see what that sounds like. Again, we can solo the different parts. That's combining two different delays uh, rhythmically together, which are affecting different parts of the sound. Next up, I've got some super dry vocals, just this line here. I know you're no good, I know you're no good for me. But I can't help my heart beating out this chest when I see you there. So we can do any number of things with that lovely dry sound like that. At the moment, I've got this preset loaded up, which is Lush Vocal Reverb. Um, so it's simply uh, adding a delay to the transient part and a reverb to the tonal part. Let's have a listen to that. 
So I really like that use. It's adding the delay just to the transient part uh, and adding the reverb just to the tonal part. So it's kind of a really clean reverb sound. Sounds quite natural, but just very clean. You're not getting any messiness of the transients in the voice being reverbed and messing up that. It's just super, super clean. Let's again solo it just because that's fun to do. I know you're no good, I know you're no good for me. So that's the delay added just to the transients and then the reverb just on the tonal part. I know you're no good, I know you're no good for me But I can't help my heart beating out this chest when I see you there Here's another preset I've just loaded up uh, with a similar idea. Um, so it's got a reverb on the tonal part and a delay on the transient part, but this time it's a reverse delay. Uh, and that creates some pretty weird sounds. Um, let's load that in. The last example I've got here is uh, on this drum loop. So I'm going to show you a less kind of wild and wacky uh, sound and more useful. So this is dry without fission. Lovely clean drum beat there. So I've got a preset loaded on here called drum sharpener. Uh, and that sounds like this. Here's without it. So yeah, it just makes those drums super tight, super sharp. That might be something you want in your mix. Uh, this one is just using a gate and EQ on the transient and an EQ on the uh, tonal part. You can see the settings it's using there. Again, I'll solo those parts. So yeah, a much more subtle use of fission there, um, but it can be, give you so much flexibility in terms of fitting things into a mix. And it lets you do things and make fixes that would be either very difficult or impossible to do with other plugins. Here's the last preset loaded onto that drum uh, loop just for fun. So this one's a bit more wild. It's got um, a tap delay on the transient effects, uh, a very short tap, tap delay. Uh, and then it's got a tremolo on the tonal part, which sounds like this. So yeah, that's Fission uh, Mark II from Eventide. It can do some pretty incredible things. Uh, there's loads of presets in here to jump into and inspire you, uh, whether you're trying to fix problems, plot something into a mix, or just create some absolutely wild sounds. It's available now from Eventide, so make sure you go and check it out.